advocating for a better world. In southwestern Bangladesh, thousands of men and women are living and working together in a way they never have before. In this community of the Shakira district, a profound change is taking place between wives and husbands, mothers and fathers, women and men. Bahanur Begum and Habibur Rahman are involved in this change. Over the last 10 years, their marriage has undergone a dramatic transformation. I used to think that as a woman I had to stay inside the house and do whatever my husband said. Heaven lies at the feet of my husband. That's what I used to believe. I used to believe that the wife should be imprisoned indoors. Listen to what we say, go where we take them, and wear whatever clothes we buy for them. They shouldn't spend anything independently. The man will eat first, and the woman will eat whatever's left over. That's what I thought. In Bangladesh, many men have traditionally regarded women as property. A woman is a father's daughter, a husband's wife, and a son's mother before she is allowed to be a person in her own right. Women can't do the work that men can do. Mohammed Bishas lives in a neighboring village, uninvolved in the changes being experienced by people like Habibur and Bahanur. How could it be possible for men and women to be equal? Men want their wives to stay at home and their bodies to be fully covered. This is what everyone wants. Why do they want this? Because this is good. It's good for women to be fully covered. It's said in the Hadith that it's better for women not to go out. That's why. Muhammad Bishas's strict interpretation of the Hadith, an Islamic scripture, maintains that it is better for society if the activities and responsibilities of men and women are kept separate. Muhammad Bishas's wife believes that it would be sinful to challenge her husband's authority. Without asking my husband, I can't go out. What will happen? He will be hurt and he might yell at me. What happens when your husband is hurt? From the religious point of view, Allah would be angry. Your husband has gone out to wash. You're hungry. Will you eat before he returns? How can I eat before my husband does? What happens if you do eat before him? My husband will have a shorter life. Subordination of women is not unique to Bangladesh. Throughout the world, the majority of mothers, daughters, sisters and wives face cradle-to-grave discrimination. According to the United Nations, women own less than 1% of the world's property, earn only 10% of the world's income, but do two-thirds of the world's work. Women grow more than half of the world's food and prepare almost all of it. They work an average of 14 hours a day and often carry loads of water and wood that match their body weight. It does not matter if a woman is young, old, or sick. Most poor women have never had a day of rest in their lives. Ten years ago, it was no different for Bahanur. The fact that I worked at home from sunrise to sunset 
Looking after the children, cooking and doing other domestic chores had no value. If my husband discovered that something was not done, he would hit me. When she disobeyed me, I beat her. And there were times that I didn't let her eat when she wanted to. My wish was that she act according to my will. Habibur and Bahanur's marriage started to change in 1985 when they became involved with the credit and training programs of a local non-profit organization called Uteran. Uteran, which means upliftment, has for 20 years demonstrated that social and economic growth depends on the participation of all members of the community, especially women. Shahidul Islam is Uteran's current director. Mr. Islam grew up in the Shatkira district and with his sister and a number of other local residents founded Uteran in 1976. The community cannot develop if half its people are kept inside, imprisoned, in the dark. So the first task is to help women gain equal freedom to go outside the house, freedom to go to the market, freedom to go to social and religious gatherings. Uteran believes that equal rights for women is not only fair, but also economically smart. In its experience, when financial resources are invested in women, the benefits to children, families, and the community are maximized. When a woman gets money, what does she do with it? First, she spends it on her child's education, on health care, on important household needs. At first, getting women involved in Uteran's programs met with resistance from their husbands and fathers. When we first started a women's group, men threatened us. They said bad things about us, that we would fall from God's graces and go to hell. The village leaders told our husbands that your wives are going to Uttaran to sing and dance and that we would end up in hell. We explained to them that the group is helping us improve our lives. When Bahanur told her husband she wanted to join 